Okay, so this is the end of this MOOC series. Uh, we hope it was beneficial and useful for you, allowing you to move on with evaluation and further development of your own graphical user interface application based on STM32. As a quick conclusion of this MOOC series, uh, what we have saw and what we have learned in, inside. First of all, we gave a, a short overview of uh, the STM32 offer in terms of what is available from hardware, firmware and tools point of view for you to evaluate and develop uh, modern graphical user interfaces. We have followed with the introduction of uh, the latest Xcube GFX package and how it can be used within the rest of STM32 ecosystem. With all this, we have moved on with practical examples, starting from building a simple user interface and then later on adding uh, different um, interactions, first with internal peripheries of the STM32 and then with external function blocks, uh, simple ones, GPIO, LED, but still showing how you can combine the graphic user interface uh, with the rest of your application easily using uh, the TouchGFX generator and the Xcube TouchGFX package together with the STM32 CubeMX and the Cube IDE completing the, the full offer of tools uh, allowing you to, to make all this happen. So with all these blocks you should be able to either start or better continue with evaluation or further development of your own graphical user interface application, of course, based on STM32. And let me also remind you with some of the useful links that can help you to move on further with your project using TouchGFX and STM32. So first of all, the TouchGFX documentation portal, uh, which is sourcing really a lot of information about how to start uh, with TouchGFX. General online trainings around STM32 and uh, all the MOOCs that you can find also on ST YouTube channel. Further, uh, the ST community dedicated to graphics, which is uh, very well used, moderated and followed by ST engineers, uh, making sure that you find the right answers to your questions there. And uh, moving on with your projects, of course, don't hesitate to contact your local contacts, whatever the, the regional FAEs uh, or distribution partner FAEs, uh, to help you with your projects. And last but not least, uh, there is as well generic online support available at uh, myst.com where you can find answers hopefully to all your questions related to STM32 and other ST products as well. So don't forget about these useful channels. There is always someone and something to help you out if needed. For the final message, I've picked in purpose this uh, very nice example of uh, human engineering that demonstrates uh, really the evolution of uh, technology that uh, an innovation of uh, all humans and in the same time it uh, clearly demonstrates the evolution of uh, human to machine interfaces uh, including graphical user interfaces um, so with this i would like to thank you for participating in this mooc one more time we hope that it was useful and beneficial for you and uh, we wish you a lot of successful designs with STM32 and with uh, technology around STM32. And we are looking forward to see or meet some of your projects uh, out there in the market. Thank you and stay connected to ST for getting uh, updates and information on the next webinars, workshops and MOOCs that we are preparing for you. Thanks a lot and all the best to you.